Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So um, this is a request really to the scientists out there to stop sending me emails um, explaining to me physics, essentially. Um, I'm fully aware that uh, if I want to read lots of stuff about um, physics, mechanical physics and how things move and pendulums and all sorts of things, I can do it. And I have read some of it. Um, I have a mighty A-level in physics, believe it or not. Um, A-level doesn't count for much, but nevertheless I did study physics at one point. Um, and uh, really, I keep getting told things by physicists uh, as if they're supposed to change my view on which part of my sword I hit things with. Um, and fundamentally, most of the physics that people are telling me is too basic. Um, it, the problem is, a lot of physicists out there think that they have a great grasp, a great understanding of physics, but the problem is they're applying too few, uh, too few bits of science to the problem. And as I mentioned before, my with a block of wood, hitting my block of wood to find central percussion, or at least what I would call central percussion, and we then get into debates about what is and what isn't a central percussion, but let's call it the sweet spot. Um, hitting a block of wood works fine for me. It's not just about feedback in my hand, it's about demonstrable results on the target. And I can very easily see which bit of my sword blade has the most effect on the target. And tennis players can see it, and baseball players can see it, and golfers can see it, and uh, people beating someone to death with a stick can see it. Okay? It's very clear that there are certain sweet spots on certain tools and weapons, and that is the best place to hit someone with that weapon. And uh, no matter how many times people tell me that central percussion can be outside the sword, man, and it can change with exactly where I hold the weapon and how I hold the weapon, and the, all these sort of things might be scientifically basically true, however, fundamentally, I know that with a given sword, given how I'm probably going to hold it, I know where my sweet spot is going to be with that sword and I can even feel I can show and I can demonstrate where that sweet spot on that sword is. Um, so the finer details of science and all of the conflicting, incidentally, conflicting science that different scientists uh, try and point out, and I note that physics should all be things that we all agree about and yet the, because this is a fairly complicated matter actually, calculating where the best place to hit someone with a sword is, uh, all of the scientists who give me information seem to be in disagreement with each other. So uh, anyway, that doesn't really instill a huge amount of faith in, in the maths here. Um, but uh, so fundamentally, this is a request to please physicists stop sending me patronising emails telling me that I actually need to, I would cut most effectively with a part of my sword which is up here. Um, and that all good swords, uh, if, I, if I wiggle them at the point I hold them, all of them should um, have a pivot point uh, at the point, or beyond the point, or behind the point, or things like this. The fact is that different swords move in different ways, they have different pivot points, and different swords will be most effective at hitting with different parts of the blade, and it's quite easy for me to work out which part of the blade I need to hit with. So, thanks. Bye. Click subscribe now and also follow us on Facebook.